Hi everyone and welcome to Zarvi Cosplay. I am so excited to share with you with this Halloween season special feature in which I will be transforming into a zombie. Oh goodness, what happened? Oh, hi there. It's been quite a while since my last video, so this time we'll be doing a zombie SFX makeup. For the Regency era makeup, you just need to have a normal makeup look. And after that, you may apply the lace front glue for your wig. I got this wig from Ryuta Wig, which can be found on Shopee. And you may check more of their products on the link in the description box. Sadly, yes, I have to remove half of this makeup because of the SFX makeup. For the contact lenses, I decided to use these type of contact lenses, different ones from each eye. To start with the SFX makeup, you have to prepare a flower and a petroleum jelly. This SFX makeup is inspired from the Pride and Prejudice and Zombies movie poster. And now let's begin by applying the flower and petroleum jelly on your mixing palette. What I've learned about SFX makeup is that you don't need to be perfect about it. Also, it's better to have a reference on a particular gash or wound so that it wouldn't be a problem for you to design that uh, particular SFX makeup. What you need to be conscious about is the consistency of the floor and the perturm jelly mix. So what I'm gonna do with this tape Actually, it's a very special SFX makeup tape. I just want to protect my skin and my lips from the spirit gum. In a few moments, you'll be applying that spirit gum to the resin fake teeth later. It will be a very tough one, so uh, you have to be very patient about it. And now the test of patience comes. Actually, it's a very difficult process, but yeah, you really need to wait like 10 or 15 seconds to make the spirit gum stick on that special SFX makeup tape. And here comes the revelation! Ta-da! <laughs> My sister Mona gave this zombie makeup kit. Actually, I'm not particular with the product brand so i just gonna give a try on this one the next process is to apply a eyeshadow that is near to your skin color or even a powder that is your skin color particularly you may add this on the mixed petroleum jelly and flour so yes it will be a little bit messy so uh you just to consider about it because that's how the powder or the eyeshadow absorbs the color and now it's time for the face paint so yes um I don't know what to say much about this uh, face paint so I just apply it directly and then if I had to be honest about it the color is um, it's just uh, average for me but yeah I always find ways to make it possible to make it look expensive so uh, just observe in the video and how I do it and you'll be surprised with the outcome sometimes it's with the cheaper product that will surprise you this makeup kit comes with a gory flesh actually it's like a um, fake flesh yeah that's how I understand it well um, it didn't stick on my neck but it did on my lower part of my lip and my upper part of my lip I just I'm just too particular about the set of it because it didn't come so pleasant but anyway I just to have to do this because of the uh, SFX makeup tutorial
So I tried to apply the green face paint but unfortunately it didn't work so I covered it up with the red face paint. So after applying the green face paint, I just had to scratch it and then decided to put the red face paint but it looked too fake. So because yeah, I am so particular with makeup, I had to find an alternative to make it look realistic. And yeah, um, it's really difficult for me because I had to imagine my reference for the entire duration of the shooting. And fortunately, um, yeah, it's at least closer to the look that I'm aiming for. What you need to be very careful about is that, yes, uh, the fake resin teeth may fall because of uh, moist or maybe of oily skin. So, uh, yes, um, when you apply the makeup, you just have to be easy on your hands. So, lighter touch the better yo you see there <laughs> the fake reason to just fall off but anyway um that's okay you just to need to reapply it with another spirit gum so no worry about that and now to create a deeper edge of the wound you just need to apply black face paint on the edges and just a little bit on the detail to make it really really realistically closer to a zombie SFX makeup. I would just like to remind again that this is an SFX makeup so it's not a real one. As you can see my flesh gore or my fake flesh is falling off on my neck because it doesn't stick too long and yeah I couldn't put some spread gum to it because uh, yeah I just figured it out that I thought that it would stick for quite a long time but no and yeah I had to like try to spread it so it would stick back to my neck. I truly understand that there are people who are sensitive to this type of makeup so yeah I just have to remind again that this is not a real one. And now here's the most scariest part, you need to add fake blood. Actually you can get this in KS White Props FX. Um, this was given from a friend of mine who owns the shop and yeah it did so great with my makeup. Adding contour to the look is very important when you are aiming for a zombie makeup. Of course, uh, they look so tired, like times one million tired. And yeah, because they're corpses, you really need to uh, find a way that your makeup is literally a zombie. And add just a little sprinkle of black eyeshadow on the under eye. It really adds more detail. And yes, it convincingly look like you're a zombie. If you notice that this type of zombie isn't too really much stress because uh, she just recently turned into one. And yeah, I decided to make it beautiful but hauntingly scary. So you see the fake flesh gore is still not working but so yeah, I will fix it later. And then I still need to add more detail on the wound because I still wanted to make it really, really very, very painful type of wound. And so yes, there you go. You see, it's been so stressful with that flesh gore so I had to fix it. And glad that it did for just a shorter time and then yeah I have to fix it again and again and then I have to add more fake blood I just wanted to make it really really scary and once all is done you need to be very careful on wearing your costume because the blood may stain on your costume and now we reveal the final look I was very hesitant to start with this project but I'm glad that for a $9 worth of zombie makeup kit could be possible for this project. I'll be listing all the products on my caption. I'm <laughs> so sorry, I have to scurry there. Anyway, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and as well as follow my social media platforms here, here, and here. Thank you so much for your time and yeah, happy Halloween everyone! Happy.